We're comparing all the best roller J cup options, which range from budget to bougie to find out not only how good I am at spending money, but more importantly, which is the best for you. So we're gonna break these down and talk about my experiences with them after having some of these for quite a few years. But spoiler alert, they all have their pros and cons and reasons you might wanna buy them. A few quick notes before we get too far into this because we've got a lot to cover as we're gonna talk about why you might want roller J cups, what to look for when buying these, the various ways they can be configured because some of these do have a lot of options. And of course, as always, we'll cover the questions you had on Instagram and Patreon. I originally had the idea to do a breakdown of these comparing the rollers from 1211, Go Strong and Irwin Fitness months ago, but 1211 then went on a business, which is actually something we'll talk about later quickly because it affects all of us as home gym owners. But them going down left me in a thousand dollar hole and needing a new contender. But luckily, Bridgebuilt came along and was generous enough to take my money. So here we are in a much deeper hole in a video that I'll never make it back. Welcome to the channel. I'm an idiot. But if you do decide you like this content and want to support the channel, I've put affiliate links to all these in the description. So if you click a link and purchase something, we get a small percentage which we use to keep this train rolling. First, let's talk about why you might want roller J cups, as I'm sure there's a few people wondering what they're for, especially as they carry a higher price tag than something like a standard or even sandwich J cup. Roller cups make it easier to line up the center of your bar with the middle of your rack, which becomes more difficult the heavier lifts are. Or you can use them to look like you lift heavy while posting reviews, which is why I've got so many of them. I found that at about 315 pounds and honestly oftentimes much lighter than that, it becomes a pain to get the bar centered on the rack. So when I'm lifting with Winnie and she re-racks the bar as far as possible into the pain of my uprights, I'm often stuck twisting and pulling that bar back into position. Now, whether the price tag that roller cups often come with, as these are sometimes uh, almost seen as a luxury accessory, so whether they're worth it is entirely up to you, but to me, I've always thought they're my direct connection with the rack and get used constantly throughout a workout. So I've been pretty happy trading a little more of my money for some additional functionality while making my workouts a little easier and efficient. One thing that's often overlooked but very important is how these sit on your rack. Ideally, you want the cup to sit tight to your rack so it doesn't roll when you're racking, unracking, or lining up the bar. But because of a lot of different variables, it can be hard to find a grip that feels just right for all parties involved. The thickness of various powder coat finishes can vary. UHMW can be pretty inconsistent. And these two rogue uprights are actually slightly different dimensions. So as a manufacturer, you have to decide how to balance all of that. But luckily we have a few options if you get an otherwise great attachment that doesn't fit quite right. If it's too loose, you can shim it with UHMW tape or even something like a thin ABS or UHMW sheet, which me being the good guy I am, I've linked those options uh, down below. And if it's too tight, you can sand the UHMW some, but there are certain J cups like these from Bridgebuilt or Titans where they have a spot for a locking pin in the back. Since we're on the topic of Fit and Titan, we should probably start with their cups. These are my budget choice for roller cups, and I say that having used the Bells of Steel rollers, which I don't like because their design basically sits on a single weld on the front lip. Now you guys know me, saying Titan and I have had some bumps in our relationship is pretty generous, but when they're making something much more robust for a few dollars more, that's probably not a great sign. And these run from about 80 to 140 ish dollars, depending on which version you get, because they make them for two by two, two by three, and three by three, five eighths and one inch metric racks. I say metric because one, these are made overseas, but two, there's a difference in upright size and hole spacing between American and metric racks, which you can learn about more in our home gym secrets video. Also, Titan's quality can vary some. So while one of these fits perfectly on my rack, 
The other one is quite loose. So this one, really good. That one, super loose, meaning they're both pretty loose on my metric rack. But if you're willing to try some tweaks, like I mentioned, or you don't mind using a locking pin, you can probably make them work. One thing you may notice is this is the only option here without UHMW protecting this front lip. And speaking of this lip, this is probably one of those times you'll wish you had another inch as you try to get your shaft in and over this big fat front lip. And that's the biggest issue with Titan's design. I appreciate the UHMW everywhere else, but this is a lot of height to clear during a lift. Even so, as I originally said when I reviewed these a long time ago, and this might be Titan's motto, but it's hard to argue with the price. Which brings us to the Go Strong Rollers made by Rogue Fitness. These, and this may be one of the more awkward sentences I've muttered on this channel, but these Rogue Rollers are actually one of the better value options out there, regardless of which version you pick, as they make them for 3x3 three three racks with 5 eighths and 1 inch holes. These are the second cheapest option here, which I think is important because these are the rollers that helped put 1211 out of business. When Rogue released these, they matched 1211's prices, which I'm not saying was intentional, but it was the last nail in the coffin for this company and they eventually went out of business. I bring that up now, not to throw shade at Rogue, because if Rogue hadn't bought Ghost Strong, we probably wouldn't even be able to buy these right now, but I think it's important that we support small businesses like the next two companies we're gonna talk about as they're oftentimes the ones pushing the industry forward. These are great cups because not only are they well made, but their streamlined design without this truss type support underneath means they're more compact and take up less space on the rack without sacrificing the length of the back here. And as we'll talk about later, length can be a factor. These cups also have return rollers, which means if you've had issues with your depth in the past, you won't have that here as the tapered shape of the roller always returns the bar back to the same position. Now, whether you prefer that or a flat roller will come down to preference, but as we'll find out with Irwin and bridge built rollers, you don't necessarily have to decide. Ghost rollers can also be ordered with a composite or steel roller, but I'd say in a home gym setting, just get the composite because you're probably never gonna wear this down, but if you somehow did, they do sell uh, replacement sets. Whereas with steel rollers, you will wear down your barbells knurling. Now that's not the only option Rogue's offering here because you can order these in different colors and you also have the option of adding buffalo blocks in both uh, for both 32 and 38 millimeter bars, though you do have to remove whatever roller you currently have installed to swap these out. Now, these are very good J cups, but that doesn't mean they're perfect. Their fit on the rack, and yes, that includes Rogue's own rack, can be a little loose. So this is one of those pairs that you may end up shimming, or you could contact Rogue's customer service as they do sell a shim kit for this. But as long as you know that when buying them, I think they're a really solid purchase. So next up is our Irwin Fitness Roller Cups, which are handcrafted in a small shop in Canada. These are available for three by three racks with five eighths, three quarters, or one inch hardware. But since Garth, the owner, decided two by three racks matter one morning while sipping his hot maple syrup or whatever they use up there for coffee, they make UHMW adapters so you can use these on your two by three racks. The first thing you'll notice about these, besides the fact that they're the largest option, which makes me feel a little inadequate as an American, but you probably notice they're absolutely stunning. And that's because their craftsmanship is second to none, but also because they offer just about any finish option imaginable. And believe me when I say they make some insane looking stuff. What I love about these is the fit is basically perfect and that's for both American and metric racks because he uses a thicker UHMW for an imported rack and also because they just manufacture to such tight tolerances. These are the second most expensive option here, but once you convert from moose pelts to real money, they're really not that far off the ghost rollers. And they've got options for metal or composite rollers, whether they're flat or return, and they've got duffalo block options. And as you can tell from the wear on these, these are probably what we use most often because the attention to detail and quality is just 
phenomenal. And I could go on and on, but I really don't have any complaints or nitpicks, which is honestly kind of an accomplishment for me. So if you've got the money, you won't be disappointed because every aspect of these is fantastic. So then why did I include these from Bridgebuilt if I like Irwin so much? Well, these do something no other roller does, and that's act as both a roller and sandwich J cup. So I can easily center the bar while pretending to squat big weights, but since I prefer flat rollers, since they allow me to roll the bar forward into position before I lift off and bench, well, with these, I can easily center the bar left to right from above or from underneath, if I forgot to beforehand, and then roll it forward into position onto the sandwich portion, making this a brilliant design because it gives me the best of both worlds. Also, if you look at every option here, you'll notice that while most have protection for your barbell on the back and the front lip, none take it as far as these. And I'm sure I don't have to lecture you on the importance of protection. They can also be customized by picking a primary and secondary color. And since I'm pretty creative, as you can tell by my rack, I picked black and clear, but other people with an imagination have come up with better combinations. Now, although I seriously like these cups, that doesn't mean they're perfect. While more compact than other options, the length of the back can be a bit of an issue for Winnie and I because of our height differences. And those of you that know me, you know I love me some big beefy bitches, and these are as American as it gets because these are thick with a very well done over the top build quality, but I have nicked the hardware a few times during lifts, but I will say that's only happened when using a competition style powerlifting bar with really thin collars on my wide 49 inch rogue rack. Besides that, I suppose I could pick on them for the hole in the back because while I typically appreciate a smaller hole, it's a little silly that this is always three quarters of an inch, regardless of what size hardware you order this in, as it can be bought for five eighths, three quarters, and one inch three by three racks. Now these are the most expensive option, but code Gluck saves you 5%, and you'll be supporting a small American business by buying them. And Bridgebuilt has other really innovative products, and as I mentioned before, it's often companies like this that shape the industry. Now, after all that, if you can't decide which to buy, just use my links and buy them all. Your wife will love you for it like mine does. Thank you to our Patreons who enable me to overspend and make videos like this. Links in the description and hit that like button. Leave us some kind of comment to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.